For anyone that spent any substantial time in the mountains, you've probably experienced the symptoms of AMS. However, both hape and haze are not to be messed with. They're very serious conditions. Acute mountain sickness gives you those obvious symptoms like a headache, some head pressure, and usually nausea. But when things start to get a little worse, you get a little ataxic. And that's when you have troubles getting sure-footed and walking properly. You get a little bit dizzy, get a little bit imbalanced. One of the biggest things with HAPE, that's high altitude pulmonary edema. That's a respiratory issue. It's if I see my climbing partner or some member of my team having shortness of breath at rest. When AMS progresses to haste, that's high altitude cerebral edema, that's a swelling of the brain. And one of my biggest cues here is when someone's mental status starts to become altered. I'd be checking in with someone to make sure that they are ANO times four and they, they, they have it, they're together, they, they're with it. HAPE and haste are most often preventable by descending from altitude at your first signs of AMS.